NYPL's Simply E app is a free app available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Borrow from a catalog of 300,000 ebooks with your library card and PIN number. Download ebooks in three clicks or less, regardless of the vendor. Easily manage returns and holds. And new features are in the works, including for Kindle Fire. On your device's App Store application, you can simply search Simply E in the search bar in your App Store application to find the Simply E app. The Simply E app is free and is always represented by an icon that looks like a stack of books and the letter E. By simply selecting to download the app, the app will begin downloading and once the app is downloaded, it is automatically on your device and you just have to select open to begin the application. When Simply E starts, you have the choice to find library, or you can also just use the Simply E collection. Here we're going to use Find Our Library so we can get access to the collection that the New York Public Library has to offer. When we select the New York Public Library, it then brings us into the Simply E app where we're able to find materials. Materials are going to be broken up into different categories, such as bestseller, staff picks, fiction, even categories such as nonfiction. To put in your account information for Simply E, you simply select Accounts, and then find the New York Public Library. And from there, you then put in your library card number and your PIN number. If you do not have a New York Public Library card, you can always use the Simply E collection or other collections that are accessible through the application where a library card is not necessary. So we're going to do the process of putting in a library card so we can see the New York Public Library's collection. Once the library card information is put in, we're now able to begin checking out materials. So as I said before, we're able to choose from different categories to begin looking for materials that we want. In this case, we're going to scroll down to look at some of the different categories. We're going to select a category so we can then see the list of materials that are within that category. When we get to a list, they'll show the picture of the cover of the books and anything available will be labeled Get. When you point on um, Get, it will open a screen where it will show you the title of the book and give a brief description. If it is available, it will say get. If it is not available, it will say to basically reserve. This book is available, so we're going to select it. And as soon as we select it, it will begin downloading. Once the material has downloaded completely, it is then available for us. And it is checked out on our card. And we can choose to read it or return it. And also tell it, it will tell us how long we have the material for. When we go to My Books, we're able to see any materials that we currently have checked out. In this case, the material that I just checked out is here in my My Books list. And simply to begin reading it, the only thing I would need to do is to click the button labeled Read. Once the Read button is selected, the material will open. And then I control moving through the material by simply using my device's screen and moving my finger across the screen, either from left to right, to turn the page. By tapping the screen on your device, you bring up a menu bar at the top. You're able to be able to choose which chapter you want to go directly to. You're able to see bookmarks or pages that you saved and notes that you might have done. You're able to also control things such as the type of font you're reading in and the size of the lettering. You're also able to choose which color the screen is going to be in for both the page and the text. This allows an individual to choose a color scheme that is going to be a much more comfortable reading experience for the individual. A newly added feature to Simply E is the access of audiobooks. 
audiobooks are checked out just like the ebooks are. With putting in your library card and PIN number, you're able to access the audiobooks that the New York Public Library has to offer. Audiobooks are always marked with small squares with white headphone icons in the bottom right hand corner. This way you're always able to differentiate between an ebook and an audiobook. Audiobooks that are available will always be labeled as Git. And when Git is selected, the audiobooks begin to download immediately. To begin listening to audiobooks, simply by selecting the Listen button, we'll then open the audiobook. And when the audiobook is open, you will have a number of different media controls. You will be able to play the um, media book, and you are also able to even rewind 15 seconds, fast forward 15 seconds, to go to a specific spot that you might be looking for. All of your different chapters are separated as tracks. And just like ebooks, the materials are returned automatically once the time is up.